Hi, I think it's day 84. It's Rachel here. Welcome to all my subscribers and I'm going to get on with my video and we're going to continue on with the design team project for Medieval Mirage. Now if you're not using their papers you can always use whatever you've got like scrapbooking papers and scraps and other digitals. So um, oh first of all I have a new um, digi in my shop, um, not the one below. Um, and it is an Italian themed. I was asked to put together an Italian kit as they're quite hard to find on Etsy. Um, so I've done a combination of some of my own scanned um, ephemera and uh, photographs that I've kind of sort of altered a little bit so they don't just look like a photograph. And I've also got some public domain in there as well that's sort of relating to Italy. Um, now this is just a printout of the PDF. You also get all of the JPEGs and this time in the PDF because there were so many elements, I think there's like 47 images. Um, I didn't put any full size um, pages in I don't think in the PDF because you can just print those out from the from the JPEG. So any I've just sort of resized them so that you could make journaling cards and the reason why I've got them here first of all I want to show you um, a little bit the images and then also um, I think I might use a little bit of it for these journals and we need to make some uh, more embellishments and things like that because I'm not going to have enough um, to fill them so um, I'll just show you quickly the kit so this is um, an antique piece of thing I think it was for um, it was something for like farmers for animals and it says one side says um, their deaths so I didn't scan that side I didn't think we liked that side so this side is by and births bought and births um, and it says date um, I don't know what predio means um, and then the type of um, beast and the cost and then there yeah so I scanned that one it's pretty old and then this is a beautiful antique door that I took a photograph of and then this is a beautiful um, image of a map of Venice um, this is a gorgeous book that I bought 1756 and it had I didn't even realize when I bought it and it had the most beautiful images on some of the pages and the script is absolutely gorgeous so a few more pages of that will be coming out um, possibly I'm going to put together a letter one with the antique letters and I might put a couple of these pages in there as well they're really lovely printed on straw paper as well and then an antique painting of um, Venice there and then this beautiful antique map of Italy and this is some terrazzo um, floor that I took a photograph it's antique um, now I'm trying to think I think they told me what the um, origins of it so terrazzo um, I think it was invented by the Romans, I want to say, but I'm not sure. It might have been in the Renaissance, I can't remember. But basically they invented it because it's little bits and pieces of, it can be little bits and pieces of marble or precious sort of um, rocks like um, granites and things like that. And the reason why they um, put it in little pieces, it, it was cheaper than um, doing a big slab of marble. And also if there was some kind of, um, problem um, below with the pipes or that sort of thing they could easily break a piece and then um, sort of put it back put a new piece in and you wouldn't be able to see um, where they had done the repair so that's the story behind Terrazzo um, this is a photograph of mine and this is a beautiful antique Italian image and it's called Il Ballo the dance uh, and then these are some antique medieval images and then um, this is the arena of Verona it's a, um, an, a drawing of it um, this is one of my photographs this is a Italian sort of doily that I bought at um, the antique market just a pretty little image to use there in your collaging um, some ceramic floor a painting of the Rialto in Venice one of my photographs some more medieval I love that um, and then um, the Vatican and these are just printed on regular copy paper this is one of my photographs that I kind of put a pretty effect on it some more medieval and then a beautiful I think those are Renaissance designs um, this is Castel Sant'Angelo in Rome. Um, this is a beautiful, um, was an antique bookshop that I took a photograph of in um, Rome. And I think I put a little bit of an effect on there. So it's 
more interesting and this is a photograph I took in Florence as well this is a photograph in Venice in um, in Rome or Pompeii I can't remember and this is a beautiful drawing this is what the Renaissance fabric um, designs were with the cut velvet and this is a design by Pisanello and then this is one of my photographs this is a very faint drawing but I love it of um, the ideal Italian modern city in the Renaissance yeah it's not particularly Rome although it looks a bit like Rome but it was the ideal city um, these are some costumes all in the public domain um, that I've sort of fixed them up a little bit and then this is one of my photographs another one of my photographs here and then um, this is by Manet and then another image of a gondola um, this is one uh, the marbled paper from one of my antique books this is a tapestry and an image of uh, the St Marco's Square in Venice one of two of my photographs um, and then uh, etching I think that I don't know who that one was by and I don't know where it is but it's Italian and these are two antique um, Italian postcards that I've got and one of my antique letters so I think that is it yes so that's what's in the kit um, I've got plenty more to do another one but we'll see how we go so I was thinking yeah I pulled these out because I think I might use some of these um, when I'm making some things for these um, journals here because I think that they go well with our theme so I think we'll just get cracking I have no idea I need to make some little um, little journals these are little journals I need to make some little tags and actually I might um, not these I've got some little mini glassine bags here I normally just put buttons in when I'm making my bigger fabric packs but um, maybe we'll decorate some of those I think these are too big we won't use those unless unless we were to fold one up that could be an idea maybe we'll keep two of those aside as well um, don't know if we'll get to them today but we'll so I'm just going to put those away oh they don't want to go away do they oh my wordy lordy okay come on so I'll put these aside. Oh, that's um so what I'm doing now also with my kits is I am going to slowly, although it's more bulky, I am going to slowly or maybe then I'm I am putting them in these. They do cost a little bit, um, but I think they'll fare better and then that way I can keep my glassine bags and use them in journals. But I will slowly transfer them over to those and maybe I'll put no that one's too long. I've got them on all different sizes look so I just get these at my supermarket they're by Bianco Tato Bicontato it's an Italian brand so I don't I don't doubt that you'll be able to find them and um, I couldn't find any clear ones today they're all yellow so um, I'm just going to put those ones in like that so it's less bulky but that's how I'm going to store them I think it's my, a bit even better you know like it's all trial and error isn't it you start off thinking you're going to do one thing and then slowly as you think about it you you decide to do something else that's how I am I you know like I hopefully things improve as I think about it that's what I mean so I'm just trying to find a spot to put this down I, I really love these tags now this is um, medieval missives add-on part four and I love these tags absolutely love them so maybe I'm going to pull out couple of these now these are just on copy paper so I think um, what I might do I've got so many pieces of paper here basically I think I'll glue that onto there and um, and I've got writing space well, actually maybe I'll open that out just a second um, I'll glue it onto there is that going to, it doesn't matter if it's floppy does it I'll put that there yep let's get some glue let's just get cracking let's get cracking get the whip out I'm going to get crapping oh Lulu's making fun of me I said great I just said let's get crapping oops sorry guys slip of the tongue um cracking I meant to say so I went to the post office today and the gentleman was gas bagging and I and I said to Lulu <laughs> when we got into the car I said he was a bit of a gas bag and Lily said gas bag what's a gas bag and she thought it meant coming out the other end sorry <laughs> I said no have you never heard me say that before gas bagging is is um when you you just can't stop talking you got a lot to say 
and and I said no it doesn't mean the other end and then um, I said as opposed to waffling which is what you do a lot of because Lulu does do a lot of waffling she waffles on and I had to explain what waffling to me is like when you don't get to the point well I do waffle a bit as well my dad is always telling me off for waffling I'm all, uh, and I also guess bagging as well <laughs> But, I, you know, I love expressions because to me, um, there are many expressions out there. And look, I've just glued those all on there. You see, look at that. Instant fix. Um, I love expressions because um, sometimes, to me, the expressions that I use, and I have forgotten a lot of expressions because remember, I've been living in Italy for a really long time and I do forget things because um, I'm only talking to myself, me, myself and I. And... Um, and so I do forget things, um, but I like to use expressions because to me that really expresses um, what I want to say. There you go. Um, oh, I do like it when I get chitty chatty and, and I don't even concentrate on what I'm doing. That's, that's the best way to go, I think. And... Um, Yes. Okay, so that one's there. See, look at that. And let's see. Oh, I nearly fell on the floor. My sister did a video the other day. I was so excited. She went to the craft fair. I, I went with her last year. I love going to that. Um, and I was meant to meet Lisa and I had messaged Lisa on um, Etsy with my phone number, but Lisa didn't see it. And, um, and so then she messaged me on a message to Instagram, a private one, but I don't hear those notifications and I only saw it when I was well and truly, had truly left the, the craft fair. So I was very disappointed not to meet you, Lisa. But maybe next, maybe next time I come at, in the, in the winter and I go to the craft fair, if you go, the quilt, it's the quilt show really, it's no, there's no paper there or anything like that. But Sarah did, my, going back to my sister, she did buy some very nice goodies. Now, we're not done. Like, I think I would like to put something else on. Oh, this one is, one of them only has half. So when I was cutting all of my papers, now, you know, I double-sided, I double-sided printed. Look at all these leftovers. And I even gave some to Lulu to use yesterday when she was mucking about. So basically, I can just pull out one of these and it'll be perfect for there so what i'm going to do and what but i do need to make sure i glue this down properly otherwise that'll be lifting you'll have a little air bubble in there so um and i think i'll get my tear ruler because i've got plenty of space here maybe because this is a oh no i don't it's not big enough i'll try it on what am i doing swinging it around in circles come on seriously right sorry just getting annoyed with myself because and she's chattering away and not even don't even know what I'm doing now. That's a very bad tear, but do we does it doesn't matter? Does not matter. I think they'll need to write that, excuse the expression, but they'll need to write that on my tomb. Doesn't matter. Because that's all I seem to ever say. It's just my excuse for my mistakes. <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, right. Okay, here we go. So I feel like the fog in my head is clearing a little bit. Got a few things done that were kind of, um, that I needed to get done. And, and when I know I need to get something done, um, that's really delayed. I've got other delayed stuff, but I'm not. that's not causing me fog in my head yet. Because um, I keep thinking I'm going to get onto it and then the day flies by and I don't, don't get onto it. So by the end of the week, I'll be in a panic. I have fog again but I need to um, when I've got yes yeah, so when I've got things pressing that I know I'm late with I um, my brain I can't move on I can't move forward and, and get on with anything else so there's quite a few ladies waiting for journals um, well the fog is clearing so I should once I get started I'll be right on to it that's my excuse anyway so what are we going to put on here I, I would like to see a little bit of um, textile maybe but I don't want to make them too bulky although these things now 
basically when I open this, yes, my decorated pages are a bit smaller. Um, but I've, I've I sort of, um, what do you, how do you say it? I've, you know, put one up and one down. I can't think of the word. I've kind of stepped them. They're like stepped. So you can't see, um, if you know what I mean, that it's shorter. Um, but also these pages are bigger. But it also means um, it kind of gives you room, a little bit of room to grow. Because um, if this, as it gets um, really full, uh, this will curve more and be, if you know what I mean, and become a little bit shorter. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Stop talking. I don't remember what's in here. I need something small but I think I would like something kind of um, with figures on it so I don't think any of those are any good I think I'm in the wrong folder for that although there are some nice words in here now does this have the kit written on it because I could take it out and put it aside if it had the kit it doesn't maybe I'll write it that's a clever idea write the kit down what is it called missives part four missives part so that way I because I'd like to keep those out because otherwise I forget to use them and let's just go over here I've got some pulled out here oh, I didn't haven't printed all of this out yet this is a problem I need to get oh I know I do have some more over here I've got some more stuff over here just a sec I shoved it over there well that wasn't very clever was it so I do have some small things now I can't remember what kit it's from I think it's from this one. Oh my god my brain's going a million miles a minute it needs to slow down slow down brain Okay, so I'm wondering if I might like one of these. Put on to here, maybe even the one in the middle. I might like that lady. So let's just have a little look. I think I've probably got some of these already cut out, but I'm cutting them out again. As you do. So yes, um, I had a comment, uh, not a mean comment or anything, just a, a helpful sort of comment, and it was a nice comment. I, you know, like I like um, uh, constructive. It's not really criticism. It's just like um, even constructive sort of preferences. So um, one of my um, subscribers, I can't remember who it was. That's why I say that. Um, and she writes all the time, which I really do appreciate. So thank you. Um, said that she. Um, likes the pretty printed doilies but um, she loves it when I use the real um, thing well some, like some of the doilies um, I agree I do love the real thing more but I do feel like some of the doilies um, uh, some of them are really thick so um, I would never I, I personally I, because I put too many pages in my journals it's a problem that I have um, I couldn't put a really thick doily in so I prefer those scanned um, just because of thickness but otherwise yes I do agree I do love the real textile being put in there um, absolutely totally agree so I do have a few bits flying around here as we speak not many okay um, so let's just see if any this is look at this this is beautiful old French something um, that's helpful isn't it French something I don't know if I want to use that or something lighter and I think I want to use something lighter like you know just this old sort of cotton keep it in the tones I think I feel like it needs something else put that one there now I think they need do you know what they need they need a big piece right behind peeking out so just let me, because I've shoved all of my bits and pieces um, in a drawer over here. Now my IKEA drawers are literally falling apart. I have to go and buy some more. So I'm actually quite excited because that I bought those um, ones that have the metal frame that they have in the laundry section of IKEA, um, and then you can put all the plastic drawers in, all the metal wire sort of drawers. I had, I think before I really knew anything I had bought the um, the plastic ones the plastic drawers and 
um, I never was never really happy. I know I don't even want that. I was never really very happy with them because they don't slide in and out very easily. Um, and I was going to change them to the metal ones slowly. Um, and then one of them, the, the, the frame has literally pieces are falling off it. So I don't even know how my drawers are staying up. So I think I need to make a visit to Ikea. And I have shoved them under my um, glass top table, which was a big, it's a, was a big dining table. We had bought it when we first moved um, here from Australia to um, our other apartment that my um, mother-in-law is renting out. Um, it was very small. So when we had Lily, we needed to move somewhere to a bigger place. Um, and so we had it as like the table, like not as a dining table, but more as a desk. I think I'm going to like that more. Um, so I think I'll stitch that. Actually, first I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Um, yes, yeah, so this table was actually where we had our computer and all that stuff. And then we moved here and we've got a lot more space. So we've got different tables for those. And then I took this table in here because um, it's a great crafting table. It's a very big, oh well, no, I don't want zigzag. It's a big dining table. But it takes up about a third of my room. I wonder if I would fare better, although I do like this. Do you know why I like this table too? Because it has this frosted glass top. Oh, and I've got no thread in there. I would it stitch, so it must have just run out. Um, I like, it's got a frosted glass top. So especially when I'm working with fabric, if I want to, want to design um, onto the fabric, um, it's really easy because I can just put my lamp under the table and I've got an instant light box. So I can see the, the drawing, um, you know, the design under the fabric and trace, trace it onto the fabric. So it's really cool for that. So I do like my table. I'd probably be better off with a smaller table and have like shelves or something, you know, like a tower of shelves next to me rather than it's all table full of stuff. But um, one day we'll... I, I really feel like I need to empty out my sewing room, which was seriously, I, I emptied off my table, if you remember, a while, a, a few months back, and Lulu nearly expired when she came back from school because I'd put a table out in the hallway, um, just one of those picnic sort of um, camping fold-away tables, and Lulu's like, oh my goodness, mum, where did all that stuff come, come from? And I said, it came off my table. And she's like, oh my word because just off the top of the table and not even everything off the top of the table it was just um, the, the mess that I'm literally working with right now that that was all that had all just come off the table anyway um, yeah there you go I'm waffling that's waffling for you a bit of waffle now which way is the up I guess the butterflies are going up aren't they because Jaff doesn't put her butterflies upside down like me there we go and I don't think, I don't know that it needs much more, but I would like to get a little bit of glue under this um, fabric. Just, do you know why? Because it's very fray, otherwise it'll all fray away. We don't want that to happen. Okay, good. And then I'll stitch around it and, um, and then it'll have something. It'd be lovely if I had some blue sari silk or something, that would be pretty. But I don't think I do because I never bought any before. Okay, so let's do another one. So there's one tag. Oh, I've got this piece here from Mary. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. I'm going to use this. Perfect, that's beautiful. Keep that out so I remember. Okay, now what would I like to do here? Maybe we'll see if there's something different. I think these ladies are too big for these tags. They are. Let's see what else I've got flying around over here. I've got heaps of stuff to cut out. Ooh, here we go. Um, so I've got those. I do like that, but I think that might be too big. I also really, when I first saw these, I was like, oh, what am I going to do with them? Oh my word, I had a little bit of a panic attack. But actually, I love them. I really do love them. They're really pretty. And you just stick a little bit of textile behind them and you're set. They look great. I think I might cut one of these out. A 
because you know what I'm like and with little things I just don't I, I just I don't know what to do with them I still haven't figured out what to do with Tracy's circles yet they're super pretty I love them but I don't know what to do with them I'll have to figure it out won't I they can't just sit there for eternity so that I really like that now what is it going to go on maybe a little bit of um, antique cotton or a piece of this or a piece of that well, that's helpful isn't it not script I won't go script I've got script what about a piece of this let's see See, I did do a little bit of a reprint of some things that I had already used that I had run out of that I really do like. And that's got a, a cut in it, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just trim that off like that. Oh, I might have made it too small now. I don't throw all these bits out because I can use those. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I like that. And that might just sit there. Something like that. Just try not to cover up completely the flower. I just want to try, just do want to try, or maybe I'll try a piece of this behind there because it might stand out more. And I do have another bit of this somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So this is actually Stamperia, this, this stuff here. I got it on a big roll. I think it wasn't very cheap. It was like six euro, but however, it has lasted me forever. I bought it a few years ago. So I guess it's not that expensive considering how long I've had it for. And I think I like the white. So I'm going to glue that on there. So they're fairly simple tags. We don't want everything to be too crazy and too over embellished. We'll glue that on there. And I'll just stitch, do a bit of stitching around it, as you do. I almost can't reach my sewing machine. I'm right off. It doesn't matter. You don't need to see me sew. Oh my dear, oh my dear, oh my goodness. And I've been watching videos slowly. I'm very slow. I've got like a hundred and um, hundred and fifty-eight videos in my watch later list because every time someone puts a new video out, video out, I just put it on on my watch later list. And then when I can put my iPad on, I sit and watch while I'm working. So I am quite quite behind. Um, but the problem with that is I do look at them when I'm working uh, and so what happens is I then don't go and comment which is terrible it's terrible of me not to go and comment I would like to comment and I think of what I would like to say but by the time I stop working um, by the time it's gone so um, that's why I don't comment very much which is really bad I do like but I don't get to comment so anyway while I'm thinking of it, I'm, one, I'm planning on commenting, but who knows? I need these. I'm not going to put these away. You see, there's a cute little pocket thing to put on a tag. Oh, I'm just going to... I don't know that it goes with this, but you, you know I have to audition it anyway. Oh, I was clever. I wrote what that one was, you see, so I could put it in the right spot. Um, yes, so I watched um, Gail's video yesterday. Um, it wasn't yesterday, it was about a week ago, um, but I only watched it yesterday with her daughter, and uh, not her daughter, her granddaughter Addie. How cute was that when um, Addie got those um, beautiful things sent to her made with her wonderful digitals. Now I bought her digitals, I haven't, I just printed it. I haven't um, had a go with it. They're quite different to um, what I'm used to, so it will be a real challenge for me to use Addie's I wonder if I would like that little pocket there. And then I could put, oh yes, I do. You see, this is why you audition. So I need to just quickly, oh now I put all these pieces of paper in front of my sewing machine, what a goose. Um, oh, I forgot about the words. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll just stitch around this and then it will just have double stitching on it because then I'll be stitching around. Oops, I've gone crooked. <gasps> now what am I gonna do? It slipped. Oh well, it's a little bit crooked. And then what I'm going to do, I love that, and you can't even see that it's a pocket. 
I do like that idea of having pre-prepared um, um, little pockets for your tags. Now what I'm going to do is put something on the back of that one while we're at it. Oh, here we go. Here's some straw paper that I've got left over that way. Stitch around that. I'm going to put some lace on the top of this to add texture to our tag a little bit. It's just, these are just so beautiful. I love the, I love the softness and the prettiness of the, the flowers. So I'll trim that off and then I'll stitch. Well, maybe I can stitch around it. No, no, I want to put my lace on the top. Okay. Good. I must remember to use some of those um, things in my little Italian kit. Now, oh, that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, I tried to find in my conversations who asked me to make that um, one of one of you were going to make a, a Jennifer for your sister and I, can't, I couldn't find it took me about a week to make it for you but I couldn't find the message so I couldn't tell you so I'm very sorry I don't know if you moved on and found something else but I thought I'd let you know um, that I had made it anyway um, if you wanted okay so I want to put some little little piece of lace up there I think and um, oh got this one it's come off its card I do like this one and that's the right way up I think I would put it do I like that there and then put it there I think I would like something a little bit more dainty I think more delicate so where's my bag of laces oh Lulu had it yesterday I wonder where it went who knows such a mess can't find anything who knows where it is? Oh, maybe I would like this. This is my scraps. I might like a piece. Oh, that's really old paper. Oh, yes. And the other thing, you know I never get time to make my paper packs. I know um, you like to get those. Um, so my husband has been helping me and he's been um, separating books for me all yesterday he did a whole lot so i've got some super old i've, I've relisted the really old paper packs um, because the papers are going to be very pretty old in there like from the early 1800s up until 1900 but i as you know i only keep them yes i like that i only keep them if i find them interesting so um this see this is an example this is super old this is from the early 1800s so there'll be lot there's going to be all different sizes it'll be similar to the other ones oh and also i might add there's going to be also um some of the um maybe one or two pages from the the german magazines if you remember the really old ones but, um, because there were loose pages flying around that i couldn't figure out if they were part of a magazine because as those of you who bought those magazines they were pretty much falling apart um, but a lot of them when they were in the box they did have their front and back cover so I knew that um, that one had pretty much as far as I know all of its bits um, some of them were still bound but not most of them were falling apart I've got some left over but they're falling apart um, so I was going to keep a few I probably would have one I haven't got any listed in my shop but anyway I've got I've kept all the single see look at that I like that idea um, I've got the single um, pages um, in a pile ready to put into paper packs so they're going to have some images I haven't decided um, I just wanted to cut out one of these um, I haven't decided if um, if I um, what was I going to say? Oh, if I w were going, was going to put anything with images um, in there as well, or whether it would just be script. Maybe just a little bit of a mix. But mostly super old book pages. Some are in, the majority are in Italian. Some might be in Latin. Um, there will be maybe some German. I have a few German books and I love the typo in those. I do tend to hoard them. Um, so yeah the first few will have German until I run out um, and then um, and then and then there might be some French because I do have some really old French books as well there you go that there, there you go waffling again that was a very long spiel for a very short thing okay oh maybe I'm thinking is that 
right. It's not quite long enough, is it? But it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Is the million dollar question. Um, don't really want to cover up too much of the tag though. No, I think I'll save it for something else. So I'll put that aside and these will get some pretty lace at the top. And I love this little taggy thing and you could fit like a nice little, um, you know, like a nice piece of script behind there or, the, you know, slip in, for example, well, this is a bit wide, but you could slip in a bit of old book page behind, which is really interesting, I think. Um, so, so I really do like these little... That's those little um, pockety things that you'll see. I reduced this. This, this is a. Um, these are reduced for this purpose. I'm going to make that one too. Let's cut that one out. We'll do something with that because that's gorgeous. So I reduced the size of these um, for these journals. I really am struggling with words. I'm out of breath and huffing and puffing and um, not speaking properly and waffling and gas bagging. It's just one of those days. I did have a good night's sleep that always helps so the days that i'm quiet i probably haven't it's quite often when i haven't had a good night's sleep too i did sleep well last night so i can't think if i oh dear so going back to the hoochie mama thing um we went out to pizza last night and just quickly you know early pizza sort of thing um, so I didn't have to cook because my husband went, out and went off and hung out at the, the pool with his friend and didn't come home until 6 o'clock and I said well I'm not cooking so let's just use some old paper bag for this one I think, oh no I don't think I want to use old paper bag change my mind that was a quick change of the mind oh here I've got these bits I might use a bit of this um, so anyway so yes he went to the pool and he's, um, you know, our friend, the one with the, the tight as a butt. He, he um, met him there and he's um, single because um, he's had a bit of a, you know, tough time in that department as far as he's divorced and that sort of thing. Um, and he sings and he's always been a bit wild and um, he's got quite a particular character. So nature I should say so he does um, struggle um, sort of I think keeping you know coping with women uh, like you know a permanent woman he, he it's quite particular and I think it's hard for them as well um, so he's quite set in his ways you know I mean he's 48 so anyway um, but he's he's quite active in the dating department shall we say being a singer and um, so they're at the pool and my husband was telling me he just I mean it was he, he I mean my husband that found it very funny I said well it's not very funny um, he there were these young little girls there and they they did have hoochie mama swimsuits on up there whoopsies and um, and you know those sort of Brazilian ones at the age of 15 and Stefano was beside himself and because um, our friend was like, ooh, ooh, look at those. And my, I don't think he realized. And Stefano's like, they're, ki they're kids. What are you looking at? They're kids. And then he, when he saw them up close, he says, oh, dear, you're right. So I said to Lulu, Lulu was like beside herself hearing this story. And I said, well, there you go, Lulu. That's why I don't like you going out and hoochie mama stuff. Um, that's exactly why. And then, and then when we're at the restaurant, this pretty young girl came to get takeaway pizza. Very pretty thing. She had um, jean shorts on, but they were very short, short, very short, very, very short, very too short for my liking. Um, but I think she might have been 18 or something like that. And these men, there were two men sitting next to us. And I mean, they weren't that old. They're probably in their 30s or something, but they were just... They just literally turned around in their chairs and stared at her. And I think she felt a bit uncomfortable. And I just thought, well, you went out like that. So that you're going to get the looks. And Lulu, Lulu went bright red in the face. She was really embarrassed. She found it really embarrassing. Didn't you, Lulu? What? Those men at the, at the pizza place. Yeah. Oh, Lulu, she, we were going, getting up to leave and she said, Mummy, 
can you hide me? Because she had a, a little dress on and, and she was just felt un uncomfortable getting up and walking out of the restaurant because she was worried they were going to look at her. And I said, no, they're, they're bedazzled by the, the one that's a bit older than you. They're not going to look at you. Don't worry. But she did. She went bright red. And then we went outside. And I don't know if this old man looked at her in a bad way, like in a lecherous way or in a just, you know, just looking. Um, but he stared at her and Lulu's face was flaming red. She felt really embarrassed. She said, I'm not wearing this dress anymore. I said, oh, well, there you go. You see, I told you the proof is in the pudding. So um, anyway, you, you, you just have to know that if you're going to go in a certain way, you're going to get unwanted attention. And she's, I mean, as she gets older, she's going to get more and more of it, of course. And I'll tell you what was really funny. When I was young and I was living in Florence and and I'd met Stefano and we were going out and I was there and my cousin was living there with me. We just had the best time. But we would, I mean, Italian men do, they're not, um, they're very open. Like they, um, so I've stitched us some fabric on that one. So there's a cute little tag. Uh, card um, they do give you unwanted attention they sort of like woohoo and whistle and all that sort of stuff and so I learned to just um, walk around with I would just give them the look like don't even don't even start sort of thing um, but then when I would go home to Australia they the, unless you're going like past certain types like you know if you're going past a building site or something like that you might get a few um, whistles or something like that um, but literally people just mind their own business so it was kind of weird living in Italy and then then I and then you go home and um, it was like peaceful I didn't have to have the scowl on my face so um, different cultures but I don't think I think um, yeah, most of the Italian men probably no, I don't know about all of them but most of them don't mean any harm by it they don't um, you know they're not they're not um, violent or anything like that which is good so I'm just using up my scraps on the other side Ooh, that's stuck on there so that's pretty boring for you to watch me glue just and not do anything very interesting but this is what I'm doing with these and these are printed on um, just 120 GSM sort of I call it presentation paper just because it's slightly more um, it's slightly um, you know better quality than the copy paper I'm feeling a bit hot. The sun's coming around in a minute, so it's going to be hot in here. Now, I'm not going to bulk these up with too much um, ephemera, but this also, these sorts of little things could also, I haven't done any flip outs. I might do those in the other one. I'm, I haven't progressed any further. The one that I haven't stitched the pages in yet, um, I might. Um, Put some flip outs in that one so we'll do one more day with these and then we'll move on to something else i think and uh, let me see what i've got oh I, th I was thinking i might put a bit of this i actually really i love i love the colors of these beautiful old papers the really old ones and just by purchasing altering so many books i start to see um, the difference, I think I've said it before, see the difference between um, the first half of the 1800s in the paper and the second half. Okay, so that's that. getting a few things done here I need to stitch around those I'll do those in a second 
Now let's create something. Let's do something. Let's use this. We do need to create something and um, I don't want my tags to be too too wide. Oops, just trim that off. So we'll make a little tag here, do some collaging, I think. Now, look at this. Look at this mess. And it's all beige. It's all beige. Oh, here's a bit. Um, it's all beige because I haven't been using that much um, sort of decorative paper. Here's a bit of this. We like this. Don't you love it when I say a bit of this? Like you know what I'm talking about. That's going to go there. And where did I put those up there? Oh, they're there, the printables. So I'll get those in a second. Um, and then just, I just knocked my microphone. I wonder if you could hear that. I knocked it. Let me see here. If there's anything, it's all beige. Beige, oh, that's a nice piece of book page. Very old. I might glue that onto there. I like that. Will I put it on the other side? Maybe I'll put it on the other side. I did like it there, but no, I'll put it on the other side because that's my writing side. Put that there. Could have a bit of that and then something else. So before I glue that down, I'll decide there's another nice piece of old book page. Do you like that? Um, right, let's get back to the job at hand. really do keep a lot of stuff don't I but I do, then I just think I can't throw that out that's pretty I think I like that I'm going to trim that and I guess the thing about if you were to use um, like if I if that were a real piece of doily um, I would I would be I wouldn't have any doilies left they wouldn't last five seconds with all of the, the tags and things that are made. I'm just going to fold those over because I think I'm going to tr trim it to a tag shape and they'll probably get snipped off anyway. Um, so then I want to put something there. So let's see. Let me see what I've got flying around here that might go there. I think these are all... I haven't pulled out a wet one as you can see. These are all too big. I need to get to the smaller ones. I've still got, oh no, I haven't got more there. Um, I'll just put that back over there. So I get too crowded. Oh, here, what's here? There's some doilies that I just recently scanned and I haven't done anything with those yet. Here we go. Now we're talking, look at all these pretty things to use. Um, like that one that one let's just get those okay let me see isn't this fun I'm having fun I don't know about anybody else don't think I've done very much though I'll have to do some work on this off screen, I think. Okay. So I think I would like not that one. I like that one. And I think I'd like to put a little bit of text. Oh, about a little bit of... I don't want to cover up all of that writing, though, do I? Do I, do I, do I? I like that. I do like that, though. I like it. I think I'm going to do it. I like it. That's kind of straight. It's only a little bit of the writing peeking out the side now. And that's just going to go on. Oh, 
what about no we won't do that I was going to say what about if you all have a guess how many caps how many glues I've collected would anybody like to have a guess there's no prize for the winner I don't even know how many I've got um, but wouldn't that be fun to see who can guess the right thing um, I will put a little bit of textile I think up the top I'm going to trim that off just so I can see how it's looking I like this tag it's very pretty okay and I still need to finish the back side and where's that word I just wanted to see if I might like a word anywhere no I don't think I want a word so I'll flip it over and I could use doily there but I don't think I will no I think I'm going to just collage some papers put that there I think I'm gl gluing on a very old book uh, put that up there like so and then we need something there what would I like there this back over see I th I'm looking at these gale ones these gale laces and I think that they were correct me if I'm wrong gal they were quite thick laces quite you know quite bulky so um, definitely would prefer to use those um, as a printable That page is already all glued together. Like the book pages are out of control. I've got so many book pages. So many. I don't mean like, yes, I've got a lot of um, books to sort of um, separate and do paper packs, but I have a lot of um, the folded ones. And the ones that I'm gluing on are not necessarily the, particularly the very old ones. They're the newer ones that are less interesting. They don't go into paper packs. Okay, I don't think I need to keep that bit. And I don't need that bit. Just try to get rid of all the bits that I don't need. Probably don't need that. And I probably don't. I'll just put them there. I can use them if I want to. And I've got heaps of that sort of paper flying around to get rid of that. Because I've just, I mean, it's just out of, you know, falling about everywhere. Okay, let's make something else. Let's keep on, I don't want that one. Here's another one of these little ones. I might make this into, now how wide are my pockets? That's a good size actually. I might just trim it down just a teeny tiny bit. Let's just put it here so I make sure I go straight. Put it on that line. And it's very, quite um, easy to tear this paper. Okay, so let's do some collaging on here. That's very quick like collaging, isn't it? I put that there. And I do have papers in these kits too, don't I? Forget about those. I've got this paper. Why don't I put some of this here and then decorate onto there? I do find the medieval writing quite hard to sometimes to tell which way is the upper really I mean I can tell but I really have to um, look at it properly if you know what I mean put that there like that and then I'll fix it up right Okay, and let me see. I've got some more. I've got these that I cut out. 
I think I might put that there. Even though it's um, straight, like it's not torn or anything, I, I think I will put it there. And then I might put some of that really old scripty paper somewhere. Put it, um, I think, there, yes. Because now I've covered up the newer book, but I put the old old pa um, book paper there. And someone once asked me too about rude, do I ever get rude words in my, um, from my books? Well, the answer is not that I've noticed. And I think the reason being um, that a lot of the, the book pages that I am using are antique books. They're not new books. So, um, so no, I don't. I don't get a lot of that happening just disappears they're all too big I think aren't they pretty they're all so pretty I love them that might work I'm having a bit of an idea I think or well, that one no that one blends in more that one's cool could have a double one could have something colourful no I think I oh look there's one with a bird on it like those okay so many things to play with I mean I haven't it's only the tip of the iceberg I've hardly even pulled anything out really I mean, look at all this stuff I've had these for ages and I haven't hardly delved into it so I'm thinking possibly or I was thinking with a little bit of textile behind whether it be something like that peeping out Sort of covers up the background a bit um, and then you could have another tag on there or I was thinking um, if I have something small enough I think I would like to put a bird on there um, just let me see this I don't think this is not doing it for me today normally I like to use this one but it's just not getting getting me going at all so we'll go to something else. This one I seem to be liking a lot. Just take a piece off. I might like a piece of that. Maybe I'd like it shooting out the other side. Nope, I'd like it shooting out that side. Of course I want to cover up the background, don't I? Mm. No. Oh, I know, no, I've got it. I'm going to put that there. I might have just mm, decisions are the worst maybe I could have a little strip of that shooting out the side I might attach it here and then I'll glue that down okay and then I think I need to change this paper again. It's very fragile paper, very brittle. Put the glue on there. Actually, I didn't put any glue there. Oh, that doesn't matter. That can pop up. So that's going to go there like that. And then I'm going to find a... A bird or a flower I need to find that will fit that I like on there not that one well that was the thought anyway but I don't know if it's working or otherwise the other choice is no these are all too big the other choice is um, see I don't mind that the other choice would be um, I think he's meant to go like that oh I like that maybe put some more layers I'd, oh I like that I don't normally put so many layers on things I was going to put like a ruffle there but I don't think I will 
Oh, and I forgot to post my photographs from yesterday and the day before, so I'll have to do that. Instagram will be feeling very sad because I didn't post. Very sad. Very sad indeed. I was going to put like a ruffle there. Just let me see if I would like, not with this one. Maybe I'll put a ruffle up there. Yes, I'll just gather that up there. Oh, lovely. I like it. Okay, so what about if I just... I could have a little piece of that. Oh, yes, that would have been nice there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lift up my birdie and stick that under there. If I can. Because these glues, I tell you what, they stick. There we go. Got that. Just clean my fingers off. It's quite a complex tag, this one. Or journaling card. Quite complex. It's going to get another layer on it. It's going to have a bird. In this case, more is more. We're not doing less is more, we're doing more is more. And um, while we're at it, let's just have a look at this. And I like that. Oh my goodness, more is definitely more here. Down you go. Got glue everywhere. I don't want to stick that upside down. Stick that on there. Oh, I like this. This is very interesting to me. Look at that. Look at all the layers. I never do so many layers. Layers everywhere. And then that's going to be stitched on top. Now let me fix the back. And the back can have whatever I like. It can have... Here we go. Here's some of the papers left over from... I'll just put this. This and this. This and this. So... Let's just give this a tear and give it a tear there. It doesn't have to cover all of it. Give it a tear there. Did I throw that out? What a goose. Put that. Oh, look, that's perfect. I'll just put that there. Yes. Don't think I need anything else. Oh, I didn't check if I'm videoing or if I'm on screen. I am. I'm videoing. Oh, I've been here for an hour. Oh, my goodness, guys. An hour. Okay. Right. Well, you're all going to expire with an hour. My sister will be on to me because she has not been able to catch up. Okay. So... Well, let's finish these off. I'm going to finish them off. I normally don't do that when I've been on for too long, but I'll finish them off. Um, and I'll bring the... I've just got a couple to finish off, that's all. Some of them I did, and then we'll, we'll do a summary. So this one I'm just going to... It's just going to be random like that. It's just going to be stitched on the top, and I think I'll get my zigzag going. Just a second. My threads aren't very happy. A little bit sticky. I'm a very bad person putting my sewing machine through this. I don't know, mine this doesn't glug up. I don't know. It would with if it was PVA, wouldn't like it. But with glue stick it doesn't seem to worry my sewing machine. Okay, so that one's done. Now, what am I going to put at the top of this one? I could do something similar because I did like that. Just gather that up and stick that up there. Like so. But I don't think I'm going to zigzag this one. I'll just take that out so I don't stick it in. crazy with this crazy thing up here. So there's one tag. Okay, and then I've got to do this one. 
and I think I'll find a lace for that one. Maybe a piece of this would be nice. Now I could stitch it just like that or will I fold it over? I normally fold them over but I saw people stitch them just on top without folding them over and they look quite nice. Okay, so that's that one. Where's its little taggy thing? There we go. It slips in there. And see, that's what you can do here. You get to have all these little tags from Jaff, so you can, you know, sort of back them. And then you just have these can keep, you can put these little pockets on and have little um, tags and things in them. do this one what I like on that one no um, piece of that no um, I like that where's my thing sometimes I even like to put just a piece of book page at the top but I'm not going to on the oh here we go I've got some fabric I like the fabric or sometimes I like straw paper at the top Or I wanted to see if I had some writing. I like writing at the top as well sometimes. I think I like that the best. So fold it over. Put the upside down bit at the back. Oh, I forgot to use, I didn't get a chance to use my um, printables. Well, that'll have to be in another video. Oh, I actually cut that off and I had to stitch this one. So I did quite a few in this video. I think I'm going to put, I think I'll put this nice old, um, just put a bit of this up there. No, I think I like the straw paper. Decisions, decisions. Yep, like that. So I'll do my best to get some more done before my next video. So that way we can um, finish them off. Let's hope it goes to plan. So let's just do a quick summary of what has happened. So we've got this tag here and that's the back. I didn't do anything on the back of that one. I forgot about it, but I didn't really need to because it's all um, plain pretty much. This one here, I really do like that. Love the back. Then this one, simple. Look how simple that is, but really pretty, soft and pretty this one. And that's the back. And then this one here, you've got a little pocket, so you can put all kinds of cute little things in there. Little tag there with straw paper on the back. You could put a few in there. The pocket's very generous, and that's just the back there. And then I did this one. This is one of my favorites. It's got lots of layers, lots and lots of layers. Main focus. Lots of layers here. I wonder if I was in focus for the other ones. Let me tap it again. Looks like it. I'll just show that one again just in case. And then I also did this one. So we did a few, but remember there's three journals here that need um, embellishments in them. So I'll need to make a whole lot, at least three times that 
at least maybe even four times that so um, oh and then of course I've got all of these from the other the other day and I might need even more of those because some of them are very big and I won't be able to use them in these little journals so that is it for today so we made all these tags well, quite a bit and I will be back tomorrow unless I decide to put the video on but I don't know so thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow bye